Hi there, this is Srikant Asari. So in this lesson, we are going to learn uh, uh, how to link uh, to different uh, sections uh, within a web page. Okay, so how to uh, establish uh, uh, hyperlinks or uh, using the with the help of uh, anchor tag uh, to various sections uh, within our uh, web page. Okay, so in the last uh, couple of lessons, uh, we have studied uh, how to establish uh, hyperlinks for external web pages and the uh, and uh, and different uh, pages uh, within our website uh, in the home page or uh, in the index.html page okay so first let me launch the ID so here we are using a NetBeans 8.0 uh, which takes a couple of seconds okay so first let us create a new project here so find new project so find new project HTML HTML5 application click next and let's uh, name our project as it's, uh, HTML5. So hyperlinks uh, three. Okay. So rest of all options keep it uh, by default and click finish here. So NetBeans uh, takes the privilege of uh, creating a new page and adding an index.html file within our uh, site root uh, directory. So if you go to that uh, file here, uh, we have a comment. Let me uh, get rid of that comment here. And also let us uh, so get rid of this uh, due tag. Okay, so we are going to learn about due tag in a couple of lessons. Okay, in the subsequent lessons. So first, uh, so here we have a, a blank uh, plain HTML5 template. Uh, so let me add some title to it. Uh, let's say somewhat relevant. Let's say hyperlinks three. Okay. So let's add some uh, uh, color to our, uh, our body uh, as we are doing in all our uh, previous lessons. So let's say uh, sky blue and also add a, a h1 tag here okay so let's also add a h1 tag okay so let's say uh, so let's add an attribute uh, so although it's a bad practice uh, to add attribute uh, within our uh, uh, h1 uh, html elements we need to use the css which we are going to learn uh, subsequently so let's say that our heading has linking uh, to various sections so various sections within a page here okay so within a page okay so this is our uh, heading and we have our uh, body color bg is equal to sky blue so if we run this page uh, in the chrome uh, browser so if we hit the run button here okay so it loads in the chrome it takes again a couple of seconds since my system is very ancient uh, and also you are doing uh, for the very first time here you are running uh, the page for the very first time so here you have a, a sky blue background and you have a, so a h1 heading tag here okay so here our intention uh, is to link to various sections uh, establish hyperlinks uh, using the anchor tag uh, to various section to jump directly to various sections within a web page okay so to do that uh, previously so first let us uh, uh, create some sections here let's add a h2 heading tag and let's name it as uh, section 1 okay so the, for the purpose of heading uh, i'm using this h2 uh, tag here okay so i have taken a heading tag uh, and i have just named it as section so if you go back to your chrome and reload your page so go back to your chrome and reload your page you have just get this uh, uh, h2 heading here okay so let's add some uh, uh, dummy text here uh, so in order to take uh, grab some dummy text i am going to my uh, browser window so or else you can do it in the chrome itself i have just opened uh, my opera okay it's loading up uh, google uh, and if you type it uh, lorem uh, ipsum here okay so this is universally universally used dummy text uh, by the web developers uh, around the world so you are here you have this uh, lorem ipsum it is some uh, Greek uh, text if I remember okay so if you uh, copy that and if you paste it in your uh, p tag here okay so here you get uh, this lorem ipsum text uh, dummy text here okay so if you paste it a couple more uh, four times totally you save your page and go back to your chrome and reload your page uh, so you get that uh, dummy content added here okay so in this way um, so we are going to build uh, to add some build some sections uh, within our web page using this dummy text okay inside the paragraph tag here okay so let's build another uh, section using this h2 tag here okay let's say this as uh, section 2 here okay so again let's take uh, another p tag i think there is a problem here uh, <laughs> we haven't uh, closed that uh, 
uh, previous uh, paragraph tag here so to do that uh, let me just select this credit and paste it over here okay so again let's take another uh, uh, paragraph tag within our uh, uh, section 2 and let's again uh, paste already we have copied that dummy text again let's uh, uh, paste that again that copied that dummy text again from the internet copy and let's paste it again a couple more times so for total four times so how many times uh, does that does that does not matter to you okay so if you want a huge huge content just we are doing it for demonstration purpose again we have if you observe here the section 2 uh, got loaded here okay so in the same way uh, so let me add uh, all the five different sections here let's say h2 and let me say that uh, section 3 okay so again uh, so again let me take another paragraph time so again a paragraph tag here and again let me copy that uh, couple uh, four total four times or uh, okay four times or so again let me take another h2 tag and let's say here this one has uh, uh, section 4 okay so again i'm taking this uh, paragraph tag and again copying the dummy content uh, to look it to look that our website has some content some dummy content here okay so again i'm taking the h2 tag for section 5 so section 5 and again i'm taking this uh, uh, paragraph tag here okay so again uh, couple more times total five times i have pressured the content if you go back to your chrome and reload your page so you get your website filled up with huge huge dummy content here okay so now our intention uh, is to make here uh, some sort of uh, links such that if you click on that link it, the control uh, automatically jumps directly to the that particular section here okay so previously uh, uh, going to that process uh, we need to add a very important attribute uh, known as id attribute okay so id attribute uh, just uh, used for this purpose uh, to use in our anchor tag uh, to reference that section here okay so here i'm just adding uh, the id attribute uh, to all our uh, sections here okay so for section one i have said that id is equal to section one here so for section two so i'm saying id is equal to so section 2 okay so in the same way uh, i'm adding the id attribute uh, to all the sections again id is equal to uh, section uh, 3 okay so browse if you go back go down a little bit again let's say uh, so id is equal to section section 4 here okay so id is equal to uh, again id is equal to some section 6 sorry section 5 here okay so here we have uh, added all the id uh, attribute to all the corresponding uh, html uh, tags here okay so we go back to your chrome and reload your page so nothing exciting happens here okay so id attribute is a very internal detail uh, to that uh, right? we use only that id attribute with reference uh, when we are using establishing links or uh, when we are using uh, uh, it in cascading style sheets uh, to apply some styles to that particular html element okay so here uh, so now uh, let us establish that uh, uh, hyperlinks here okay with the help of uh, when you say hyperlink you need to use this a tag here okay so a href is equal to so let's say now we have to use this uh, pound sign and let's use that add, uh, attribute uh, id attribute here id section one and let's close our a tag and let's say uh, so link to section one here okay so I have just established uh, an hyperlink. So we go back to your Chrome and reload your page. Okay. So here, if you observe here, okay. So if you click on that, so if you observe the behavior, uh, how it's happening, if you click on that uh, link, uh, it automatically takes the control to this section one here. Okay. okay. So we have achieved that uh, using our ID attribute. Okay. So here, ID for this section one is section one here. Okay. So that we have referenced here. Okay. So let's wrap that in a p tag to make it a uh, little bit distinct here okay so i am just wrapping my uh, uh, hyperlink uh, with an api tag here okay so let's uh, do that uh, for all other uh, things here okay so again let's take another p tag and let's make another a anchor tag so a href is equal to hash section so section 2 here okay so let's say uh, the text for our hyperlink is link for link for section two. Okay. So now uh, let's close our uh, p tag. 
Okay, so although uh, wrapping up and uh, hyperlink uh, uh, is not uh, uh, mandatory, uh, I am just doing it for a good look uh, purpose here. Okay, so we'll go back to your uh, web page and reload your page. So you have another uh, hyperlink, another anchor, another anchor tag. If you click on that, it directly jumps to this section here. Okay, if you click on that, it directly jumps to that section here. Okay, so in the same way. Um, so we can uh, uh, use this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, anchor tags to all our uh, sections within our web page. So I am just doing that. So a href is equal to so hash uh, section uh, section three. Okay. So hash section three, and let's close this anchor tag and let's say uh, link of our section three. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I am just closing my pre-tag and again I am doing it uh, for each and every uh, section uh, within our uh, web page and again I am taking this ahref is equal to so hash uh, so section uh, 4 okay so let's close this anchor tag and let's say so link for uh, section 4 here okay so link for section 4 and we close this uh, pre-tag here okay so let me close this uh, okay so again uh, i'm just uh, so i'm just uh, making taking another p tag and for the last uh, so the first for the last section again i'm uh, using this a tag here this is okay section section 5 here okay so section 5 close the anchor tag and let's say link for section 5 okay so let me close this p tag although it's not mandatory to use wrap the hyperlinks within the p tag we have just done that for a good look purpose so if you go back to your chrome and reload your page you have the five different links for all the sections okay so if you click on that the control automatically jumps to this section three and if you go back and if you click on the section four it jumps back to section four if you go back and click on the section five takes automatically the, since this is uh, end of the page uh, you are not uh, pinpointedly uh, wrapping that uh, uh, to that section here okay so there is a slight difference if you click on section 2 automatically uh, it goes to that uh, section okay that is highlighted automatically or it comes right away okay so when you click uh, when you click on uh, section 5 that's not the case here okay that's because since this is the end of the page okay so if you observe here this is the very end of the page and it hasn't got anything any content to load okay so if you have a couple of more sections uh, within uh, beyond the section 5 the, then you can happily uh, it shows up at the top of the page okay so you know that uh, to click the browser back button uh, to go to the top of the page okay so unfortunately unfortunately um, some of the users who are not unsophisticated uh, or unsophisticated users might not have the knowledge uh, so if he goes here so if you scroll back so all the way uh, to the top of the home page here okay so to avoid that problem uh, we can keep another uh, anchor tag at the uh, bottom so let's do that now go back to our chrome so let's take another uh, uh, p tag here and let's say uh, so a href is equal to hash top here okay so what is this hash top so uh, we'll place that id attribute with h1 tag at the top of the page here okay so let's say you need to be very specific here uh, back to top of the so i am writing it very clear uh, for the text for the, for the text of the hyperlink here okay so the h1 uh, so let's have this uh, top attribute here okay so id uh, is equal to top okay so id is equal to top here okay so now uh, if you click on that uh, link hyperlink here uh, so if you go back to your uh, chrome and reload your page so you get uh, so we haven't got unfortunately so what is the problem here so hey href is equal to top uh, let's run the page once again it's running once again in the chrome here okay we have done a very silly mistake uh, it's coming here okay so that is not the correct place uh, to be there here we are intended to keep the uh, at top and we need to place it at the very bottom here okay so that's the basic structure of HTML. So control c it, it needed to be at the very uh, bottom here okay 
So now if you go back to your Chrome and reload your page, so if you have to go, scroll down, uh, so you observe here a hyperlink, okay. So hyperlink, if you click on that, it, the control jumps right away back to the home here. We have achieved this uh, by uh, putting the ID attribute uh, within our uh, H1 heading here, okay. So here we have a main heading. So I have kept an ID attribute uh, to that uh, H1 heading and I have just referenced uh, that uh, ID attribute within our uh, anchor tag here, okay. So in that way, uh, you can establish a link at the very bottom of the page and you can navigate uh, to the top of the page uh, very quickly here, okay. So in the same way, um, so you can uh, refer uh, to another, uh, to, to a particular section in another web page also, okay. So to do that, uh, first me let create, uh, first me, uh, first let me create a new page here. So I am saying it is new page, okay. So new page dot HTML. So to do that, uh, so I am just getting rid of all the content here. I am just copying the entire content. Uh, just we are using this for demonstration purpose. And I have pasted it. <coughs> Excuse me. First let me change the ID. <laughs> Sorry, the heading here. So let me say it as a new page. Okay. So you, first let me establish a hyperlink uh, for this newly created page within our index.html page here. Okay. So let's go to top here. Okay. And let me say that uh, so a so a href or else let's again wrap that in a p tag here so a so a href is equal to a new page dot html then it means it's very smart enough so to make it a uh, very clear uh, i am using this uh, target attribute here so first let me close this a tag and i am using this uh, target is equal to underscore blank okay so to uh, make it very clear that we are using a so link to a uh, new page here okay so i have just uh, added some uh, text to our hyperlink so go back to your chrome and reload your page so here you have a hyperlink to a new page if you click on that so you are automatically uh, redirected to that page in a new tab here okay so what happens uh, so if you want to go to this section 3 in that new page directly so you can do that okay so if you go back to your uh, id so let's establish a link in such a way that uh, it automatically the control automatically takes to that particular section in our new page dot html here okay so to do that let's say that a href is equal to new page dot html and without any spaces keep the hash pound symbol and let's say i remember uh, the id of that is section 3 okay so that's the way to do that and let's have some text for our hyperlink let's say section or uh, let's say visit uh, so visit section 3 in new page okay so somewhat uh, relevant uh, very specific text here okay so we go back to your chrome and uh, reload your page okay so uh, reload your index.html page so you have here uh, an hyperlink uh, so if you click on that you are you're automatically redirected to the uh, section 3 of the new page here okay so if you observe here so since we are doing that uh, within this uh, same page so to make it very very specific uh, let's take uh, so let's say that uh, target attribute here okay so again let's use this target attribute but just for understanding purpose let's say target is equal to open blank so go back to your chrome read out your page and if you and if you uh, click on this and if you click on this you are automatically re redirected to that particular section in the new tab here okay so in that way uh, you need to establish uh, hyperlinks or using the anchor tag so to link uh, to go directly to the various sections uh, within your web page also you can uh, visit up to a particular section in another page also as we have done here okay so this is the basic stuff about the anchor tag uh, to use it to link to different sections within a web page okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye